Well, I, I, I'm Dawn French and um, I, I play Gina Benelli in Delicious. I'm Amelia Fox and I play Sam Vincent in Delicious. Yes, my character is the ex-wife of Leo Vincent, uh, who is uh, the head chef at a, um, well, the, and the owner of a, of a posh um, restaurant and hotel in Cornwall. And I uh, was married to him for a long time and I have a daughter with him. Um, Sam is the present wife of Leo Vincent, played by Ian Glenn, and uh, they've been married for 20 years. They have an 18-year-old son who's about to be 18 in the first episode. But originally, she had an affair with Leo when Gina was married to him, and she has... There is so much that is unspoken between these two women, and they coexist together in a complicated um, family way. Um, and I, what I loved about the scripts actually was that it deals with the complications of modern family life. And so the, the show really focuses on what happens with, you know, amongst the other characters, what happens to these two women. Well, I think Geraldine would have been very uh, quick to counsel both of these women to get them and knock their heads together, basically. But that's kind of later in the story. What makes you think I'll tell you the truth? Oh, because I think, well, I hope we've been able to put the past behind us. And it's driving me mad. I can't sleep. I need to know, and I think you can help me. <sighs> nothing. That's what changed. Nothing. There were no signs. Nothing was different. One day he was my husband, and the next day he belonged to you. So you think I'm making it up? These are for service tonight. Try it. Hmm. Well, Lovely for me, for you. That was, <laughs> if when you live in Cornwall, as I do, you never, ever do a job where you go home to your own bed every night. You're always travelling away to do uh, work. So for me, that was just a huge treat. And um, I had been away this year for four or five months on tour at the beginning of the year, the other side of the world. So to, to be able to come home and, you know, go back to my own bed every night was fantastic for me. And I also have such a pride and a love for Cornwall that I was delighted to have, it was like having guests, mm. you know, I thought, yeah, come and see Cornwall and, you know, make sure at the weekend you go and see this and make sure you see that. And, um, you know, people brought their families. And so, you know, I, I felt like proud mum of Cornwall, <laughs> yeah. you know, wanting to show it off a little bit. And you gave us the top tips because I had um, the, the best summer working holiday in Cornwall and decamped the family down to Cornwall and you were the most amazing host to Good. us, Good. constantly turning up on your doorstep Good. and yeah, that's fine. showing us around and telling us all the lovely places it's to go to. It's not hard to find, had to have a good time in Cornwall. I so understand why you live in Cornwall. Yeah. The resistance is futile, really. I know. I'm you know give you're going to move there. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Very happy to work together again. We worked together on The Wrong Mans, but we didn't get to do much together, no, did we? No. And so it was a real joy to be asked to um, work with Dawn on Delicious again. Yeah, second that. Yeah. I mean, when we worked on The Wrong Mans, which was a James Corden um, project, um, Matthew Bainton as well, um, we... Uh, although we didn't have much to do together, we sort each other out yeah. in the coffee breaks and lunch break and that sort of stuff. And I knew that I was going to love Millie. And fingers crossed for yeah. Delicious too. Yeah, yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. There's so much more to be had. Yeah. <laughs> my um, in my career. My mum and dad told me to stay at university <laughs> <Didn't they? laughs> as an insurance policy if it all went wrong. That's did you do that? I'd... Yes, I did. You did? Yes, oh, I did. You? did. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you glad you did? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. God, I don't, I'm not sure I've ever been given any advice. People have often told me to shut up. <laughs> I think that's quite handy when I'm around. Um, <laughs> But life advice rather than career advice I would know more about. 
Um, and the best bit of advice I ever had uh, was when I was told that every day, clean slate. That's a good thing to hang on to. Millie? I have got some New Year's resolutions. <laughs> Uh, for once in my life, um, I have started learning Spanish, and why? Just because you want I to? I felt like it. Yeah, good That's for it. you. <laughs> um, and I have started learning the piano, relearning the piano, and I'm really enjoying it. So that's my New Year's resolutions to keep them up. Okay. I'm really rubbish at New Year's resolutions, and I'm fed up of disappointing myself um, by breaking them or even forgetting them. So I'm not going to make any resolutions and see how I feel about that. <laughs>